It was a typical Saturday night. Garrett Sellers and some friends decided to leave Billings and head to Shepherd. They went to check out a house party. It was a pretty crazy night, you know, a lot of, uh, a lot of drinking involved and you know, just being teenagers around here, that's what they do when they're bored. In the early morning hours on Sunday, the group of teens finally up and left. But they were smart. They had a designated driver. I had blood coming out of my mouth. The windows were broken, airbag was deployed. And around that time, that's when I figured we had been in a car wreck. This Pontiac, full of the teens, was hit head on by a drunk driver, injuring 10 and changing all of their lives forever. I had plans of being a United States Marine, you know, going someplace. And now I work out in North Dakota. You know, that really wasn't what I had planned. It was. It changed in an instant. It's a statistic you hear time and time again. Drug drivers are responsible for one out of every three fatal accidents. Yet police say people continue to needlessly die. Have you had anything to drink this evening? Unfortunately, Billings Police Officer Brandon Ide has to face the results of drunk driving. What people think of when they think of DUI, we even across the lines, unable to maintain their lane position. Uh, changes in speed. Officer Ide is a traffic enforcement officer and usually catches drunk drivers during regular traffic stops. Do you have your driver's license registration insurance with you? But on this day, okay. dispatch received a tip about this drunk driver and the caller stayed on the phone until the driver was stopped. The more sets of eyes we have on the road, the more likely that we're going to catch these people. Um, if the caller can safely follow them and keep in contact with law enforcement, that helps us out a lot. Officer Ide says this driver was obviously inebriated and she was taken to the DUI processing center. I'm not where she became completely uncooperative and out of control. Sit down. Sit. No. After denying field sobriety tests and blood tests, she was taken to the cell and charged with driving under the influence. Will you provide a blood sample? No. And you understand that you're going to forfeit any chance having a license? Exactly. No doubt in my mind that she would have killed somebody or hurt him seriously or been involved in a crash if she would have kept driving. As for the drunk driver who hit Garrett, no one made a call about her driving. No one pulled her over before the crash. A mother of two, April LaForge, will spend the next four years in the Department of Corrections. She had been drinking, she made a mistake, and now she will pay for it. Catherine McKnight, Color 8 News.